the 3D modeling we've done so far is pretty good and it'd be nice to have some things that were a little bit more curvy rather than just square extrusions. So I'm going to show you how to make a cafe table that has curvy corners. Double click on the rectangle tool, turn off your position at next click and set the center of the rectangle to the middle or the origin I should say. That's called the uh, box position or maybe you think of it as the origin. So 400, 400, 0, 0 and it positions that in the middle at 0, 0. Now we're going to have another one which is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Select the first rectangle, modify on the menu bar, convert to NURBS, select the next one, go to modify again, convert to NURBS again. So now I've got two objects. There are our two NURBS curves. I want to copy this one, so it's Control key on a Windows machine, Option key on a Macintosh. Click, so I now have two copies in that location. Modify, move, move 3D, 100 millimeters. And I still have one at the bottom here. Select that one, modify, move, move 3D, 300 millimeters. I'm going to do my same uh, option click or control click on a Windows machine. On the bottom, NURBS curve, move, move 3D, 700 millimeters. So now I have four NURBS curves there. I'm going to use a three dimensional tool. That's down here, the loft surface tool. Click on one click on the next object, click on the next object and the next one. You notice there's a slight change in the curve that goes up here. Ideally we want those curves to go, just hit the escape key, from there to there to there to there. So it forms a nice straight curve going around. If you want the object to twist as it goes up then you could click on other corners. Click on the green tick. We want to create a solid and OK. And it's created a solid object for us. Back to a plan view, which is key 0. Double click on my rectangle tool. 750 by 750, also at 0, 0. And we're going to choose model, extrude, 50 millimeters. Now you'll notice that it's sitting on the ground. This is typical. Move, move 3D and we're going to lift it up by 700 millimeters. So now we have one sitting on top of the other. There's my front view. Now this is where the uh, flyover tool comes useful because we can twist our view because our next thing that we want to do is we want to fillet our edges. We're going to use our fillet edge tool. Let me set my preferences. So I want a hundred millimeter radius on that edge, hold the shift key down, that edge, keep holding down the shift key, that edge, and finally that edge there. Click on the green tick, and it's created uh, rounded corners to my table. If I set the radius to 25 millimeters, and let me go back to that dialog box, I like this one, select tangent entities. When I click on the top edge, it selects all of the top edges, and that one selects all the bottom edges. Click on the green tick, I now have a bullnose table. 